And we're back in the general manager's office. Or another Trunks Breeze Wine Fest, kids. So, strap yourselves in. You're really confusing me, Deadpool. I mean, are you supposed to be... You're not supposed to be for the heels or the faces? Like I said, I'm for whoever I want. And now, we've got Cassandra Kane and Iron Lad. Well, he's gotta fight the Hulk, huh? Well, that's pretty good, uh, punishment. For being a loser. And next match, Mr. Fix-It versus Iron Lad. has been paid for by this the match. order. Uh, what, what was the oh yeah, um, it's a fan of the Wild Coming to the roof from Dirt in Ohio, also known as Mr. Fixer, the Incredible Hulk! Uh, you guys don't really tell me what these matches are, do you? No, we do. You just can't read. Give him a card. You can't read. And why are you... Why is he doing this job again? I mean, that job over there? I don't know. I can't believe the NWO follows the Hulk around. I said that already. I know, and it's still barely repeating. Why would you follow this guy? He mostly kills the rocks out in the desert, and... Well... What about Team Legacy? What do you think of them? Well, at least they got a smarter leader than the Hulk. And she fills out leather pretty well. That's pretty good. And now... From Long Island, New York, Iron Lab! So I hear your voice sounds better. Yeah, uh, I had a Heineken. Beer cures everything. Uh, I guess I took away from the PG-ness, huh? Well... I think we lost PG, like, some time ago, when we started talking about tentacle monsters. Ah, uh, I don't think this show's ever been PG. I know, but it's, it's just a joke. Oh, well, anyway, we're underway. And really, what's this NWO thing about? I mean, I'll the Hulk would come with this. Take over all of CIW? I mean, how do you do that? Oh, nice slam. Seriously, do you, like, break into every... Everybody's houses and slap them around. Uh, especially those kids who like put their cameras up to their PSPs, because that somebody actually does need to slap them around. Oh, headbutt from the, from Mr. Fixit to Iron Lad. You can call him the Hulk. That's what he is. Oh, in his iron balls. Yes, in his iron balls. And now Mr. Fixit Irish whips Iron Lad out of the ring. And he's about... He hit a splash from off the top ropes! Man, I do not want that falling on me. That has actually... He has actually fallen on me once before. It is not fun. Yeah, you're still mad about that, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. And if I could do a damn thing about it, I would... STO from Iron Lad. Now Iron Lad goes high risk. And a forearm from the top rope. So how did my voice sound a while ago? Well, kind of a combination between Grover from Sesame Street and Dr. Pizza. Oh, man, that's pretty bad. Yeah. And now, Mr. Fix with a headbutt from behind. And now he plays the crowd. Well, he's not really too worried about Iron Lad. I mean, he beats Iron Man. Uh-oh, here it comes. Choke slam! He beats Iron Man up pretty uh, quickly and usually, so the mini version, I mean, come on. This isn't even Kang the Conqueror. This is a miniature version of Tony Stark. Yeah. Oh, headbutt! And Mr. Fixit tried to pin Iron Lad for that choke slam, but Iron Lad got his foot under the ropes. Lucky him. Now Iron Lad's going to go high risk, and he hits a four off from off the top rope. Now he's just pounding away at Mr. Fixit. <laughs> okay, that's not that funny. But, um, 
Yeah, Iron Lad has to win this match or he's out of Team Legacy. What is an interference allowed match? Scoop Slam! Interference allowed match is a Scoop Slam? No. <laughs> Obviously, uh, people can come in here and interfere. Uh, oh, in the Hulk balls! Gamma balls are inert! I don't think... I don't think that works well with Dragon Ball. Uh, never mind. Another headbutt. Matt, nobody is going to be able to feel their balls after this match is over. Oh! Yes, oh, who was right? Matt, he's just mauling Iron Lad in this match. And his Iron Thong. Yeah, well, this is the first time that fix has got somebody from Team Legacy into the ring. He's just going to beat the hell out of him, too. And there's another choke slam. Well, I would talk about how bad this is like I did with Wolverine, but uh, I'm afraid I'll get choke slammed. Yeah. And there's another choke slam. That, I think he's doing this for a statement against Team Legacy. Yeah. Uh oh, final cut. And Team Legacy has made fun of the NWO and Mr. Fixit. And they kidnapped his son, so. He's taking it out on Iron Lad. Yeah, I think uh, Iron Lad's time and Oh! Stepped on his chest with that little heart thing is. That he keeps him alive. Well, anyway, uh, I think Team Legacy's days with Iron Lad are about over. Especially with that after that other choke slam. Yeah. So you're a little afraid of the Hulk, huh? Who in their right mind isn't? Oh! Headbutt! <laughs> And now the Hulk with Irish Whip over to the corner. And oh, big slap into the chest. Isn't that kind of a chop? I don't know, is it? I guess it is. And now Mr. Fixit, he's setting up Iron Lad for his coup de gras. The Gamma Cyclone. Too many people use this move. It's the S5. It's a Gamma Cyclone. What just happened? Well, it looks like interference. Wait, that's Scar! Son of Hulk, he's coming out to the legacy music! And he's coming out very, very slowly! I mean, really? This is very, very slow! Slow, 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 slow! Very, very slow. Come on, Scar. You're very, very slow. I'm falling asleep here. Please don't sing. I'm, I'm sitting right by you. It kind of hurts my ears. And he's slowly coming down. And he fell asleep. He fell asleep. He's coming down so slow. And why is the referee counting? The referee's an idiot. I think we've established that. And now, Scar's coming into the ring and headbutting Mr. Fix-It. Uh, why aren't the NWO coming out? Wait, I know. Because they're stupid. They're following the Hulk around. And Iron Lad and Scar are double teaming Mr. Fix-It. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Anyway, they're so dumb, they're probably, uh, distracted by a shiny object or something. Anyway, follow the Hulk and try to take over all CIW. I mean, you can take over one league. Like, the, one of the leagues I work for is, you know, uh, run by an old man? I mean, a really old man. I could just, like, get him to cite over the papers to me and tell him it's, like, for the pins or applesauce or, water, or prune juice or whatever old people like, and uh, then just get a couple of dumb thugs uh, to protect me, and I've got that company. You've been thinking about this a long time, haven't you? Mm, no? Okay, yeah, I bet. Anyway... So this is a interference allowed match. There's nothing the ref can do about this. Not that he probably would, because he's pretty dumb. And uh oh, Scar the chunk slam of his own on Mr. Fix It. Now Iron Lad. Iron Lad with the. Well, he's about to hit a running power slam, I think. But he, Mr. Fix It, broke out of it. Now Scar is coming after him, and hits a headbutt. Really take over all of CIW? That's not even feasible in any way. Oh, big chop! I mean, you could take over one company, but 
all of it. Uh, that's just stupid. Well, doesn't Mr. doesn't uh, Legacy just want to take over um, all CIW? No, I really don't think they do. It's want to get power in, in this company. Oh, running power slime from Iron Lab at this time. They want to get belts and power. We'll get belts and power in this company. Well, you said belts and power before, but it doesn't matter. And now, fix it. With an oh, another chop by Scar to fix it. Now, Iron Lad just elbows on the shoulders. Well, you know, if Iron Lad somehow loses this match, he deserves to be kicked out of Team Legacy. And there's another running power slam in And now Hulk mad! Uh oh, he's going after Iron Lad! And S5! You mean Gamma Cyclone. Well, whatever. And now a headbutt for Mr. Fixit to Scar. Other way around, Bunky. From Scar to Mr. Fixit. Oh, yeah, okay. And now Scar with another headbutt. Scar's just savagely beating on Mr. Fixit. This is why you need to wear condoms, kids. Because one day your child will come out and attack you during a wrestling match. After he's been kidnapped by, uh. by a hot Asian chicken leather. Uh oh, what's this? It's, uh. Old Power Bomb! Old Power Bomb? What? Why is it called Old? It's just. its power's called the Old Power Oh, okay. Spear from off the top rope onto Mr. Fixit! He's got a power called the old power. I got it. I just thought it meant like for old people power bomb or something, you know? Because his legacy is like new guys against old vets. Yeah. Oh! An STO! It really had a, Legacy hasn't fought much old vets yet. They've been mostly fighting DCX and. Uh oh! Here comes. Oh! Kick to the face! And now, Iron Lad with. He's setting it up, and here comes Stark Solution. Wait, he doesn't know to pin him? Uh, if he doesn't know that basic thing, this wrestle Chris not going to go very well. One, two, three! Iron Lad has won this match. Well, you know, I thought about it. Maybe the NWO will have to come out here because they're way outnumbered by Team Legacy if you think about it. I mean, Legacy's got Inertia, they've got the Vegeta Jr. Here's where Iron Lad hits Mr. Fix with the running power slam. Yeah, they've got uh, Scar now, Iron Lad, they've got Batgirl, Black Bat, and I uh, hear they've got somebody new recruited. What? Hey, just from my sources, but they've got somebody new recruited. You'll be finding about that out in the next few episodes of Arena. And after a uh, old power bomb and a uh, Stark Solution, both power bombs, Mr. Fixit has lost this match to Iron Lad. Yeah, this is what his second match he's won in OCBF. Yeah. Wow. He needed help for both of them. Yep, pretty much. Well, if you ever walk out being a jobber, you kind of start doing stuff yourself. Or have somebody help you every time. 